I've got a little bit of attitude, a kind of like screw you attitude to the world at the moment. Welcome to another episode of What I Wore. It has been a while, my friends, but today I'm here to give you five cute outfits. Well, at least I hope they're gonna be cute. And you guys are gonna get dressed with me. And no, this is not the first outfit. These are in fact my PJs. And how cute are they? They are my silk PJs from the brand Loloris and they were kind enough to send me these PJs. And let me tell you guys, I would have no problem wearing the top half of these pajamas out with a pair of denim. I mean, this is just so gorgeous. Who's gonna know that it's PJs? This collar is so sharp. I've never seen a collar like this on pajamas and I'm all about a very sharp collar. It's just my thing. I find them so flattering. But Loloris is a revolutionist in silk pajamas. On their website, they have such an amazing collection of like long sleeve pajamas with the trousers, little slip dresses and camis, short sleeve pajamas like I have on with the little shorts. And they're all absolutely gorgeous in 100% mulberry silk. So I went for a medium in this teal color, but there's another color online called Golden Sunshine. <gasps> it's absolutely stunning. And I think I'm gonna size up next time, go for a large in that color. And I am going to wear that shirt out because it's absolutely stunning. There is nothing more luxurious than silk against your skin, especially when you're sleeping, even though you're tossing and turning and moving about, the silk just slips and slides against Against your skin it doesn't tug anywhere you're not pulling things out of areas during your sleep it's just so breathable that you don't overheat because I tend to overheat when I sleep my mum who used to be a dressmaker in the 70s was ironing these pajamas for me and she said that the finishes and the seams and the sewing on these PJs the quality is just remarkable and she said Joe I have not seen craftsmanship like this since the 70s. What I also love about these silk PJs is you don't have to be delicate with them. You don't have to baby it. You can put it through the washing machine and it's gonna come out looking just as shiny as it did as when you first got them. It really is amazing quality, you guys. And Loloris have a 180 day return exchange policy. And for me, that is pure peace of mind because I just will not purchase online unless there is a return exchange policy because it's kind of like insurance, right? Loloris were also kind enough to give me a 10% discount code for you guys, which I will have linked in the description box along with their website and my selection. Now you guys go take a look at their website because they really do have a gorgeous selection and I would like to thank Loloris for sponsoring this portion of the video. So my friends, let's get into outfit number one. Now I have to create some content for my Instagram. I don't really have anywhere to go as we're in a lockdown. So I am going to be giving you these five outfits in one day, but these are all outfits that I have envisioned in my mind. I just hope they turn out when they're on my body. So for the first outfit, I want to go with something with a little bit of attitude because that's how I'm feeling at the moment. I've got a little bit of attitude, a kind of like screw you attitude to the world at the moment. I'm sorry, my friends, but that's just the way it is. Not only because of the state of the world at the moment, but my own personal battle that I'm going through. I've kind of got this rebellious attitude and I kind of like it. You know, I'm always very soft and positive and girly and romantic and, and spiritual. But now I have a kind of rebellious edge. Well, not really rebellious, just a kind of fighting spirit. And I wanna show that in this outfit. So I want this first outfit to look kind of tough, kind of androgynous and kind of, I don't give a, you know what I mean?
present to you outfit number one. Androgynous much? Come on, you guys. I feel so tomboy, tough, rebel in this outfit. That's the vibe I'm getting. I'm really liking the way it makes me feel. It's been a while since this side of my personality has come out. And I'll tell you something, I am embracing it. The shirt, my friends, is vintage and it's men's and I love it. A blue and white stripe. I've rolled up the sleeves to make it look like a short sleeve shirt. The black skinny tie, which I think gives this outfit that unexpected tomboy edgy vibe was Gabriel's in fact and he doesn't wear it so I pinched it so I love the tie and it's kind of deconstructed you know it's not buttoned right up not too severe just almost looks like I'm about to take it off right and I love the black watch well the black leather band of my watch because it ties in with the tie and this is also thrifted this Daniel Wellington watch the jeans I love the length they're just you know I'm so dressy on the top and then on the bottom it's kind of like really beat up you know distressed jeans with holes in the knees and these were also thrifted by Zara and of course to tie in with the black accessories because I do love black accessories with a blue outfit. It's just something I absolutely love the look of and is a kind of go-to for me. The shoes are my high top Converse platform trainers and I thrifted these also. Is that a completely thrifted outfit? Except for the bag. The bag is from TK Maxx and the brand is Soul and Selene, which I've had for years. It's kind of beat up at this point, but I don't care. I love it and it's just a really schoolboy vibe almost, right? With the backpack and the tie. So that's outfit number one. I am very happy with it. I'm gonna go and photograph it now. I'll come back with outfit number two. Another broken plate, another called off date. We never seem to get it right. Another heart attack, words that we can't take back We are the reason opposites attract Once you slam the door on the second floor I regret it all When I think it through I can help the way I feel for you mm -hmm. You make me lose my mind like all the time It still feels right in an endless fight like every night it still feels right my friends this is outfit number two and i hope you guys like it as much as i do i am just so thrilled with the way this turned out the showstopper of this outfit is of course my gorgeous vintage plaid skirt it's absolutely gorgeous and i haven't worn it yet this winter and i thought i really want to wear it but i want to style it differently from how i've styled it before and because it's very unseasonably warm i thought i'd keep it wintry on the bottom and then quite fresh on the top with my white cropped top from Zara and this white gorgeous bag which is also from TK Maxx. I love this vintage plaid skirt. It is just absolutely gorgeous. It's mainly green and blue but it has red and yellow through it as well so you could also pair a red knit on top or a yellow knit. And so the shoe are my combat boots and these were from Kmart believe it or not. They are absolutely gorgeous. They were only $21. They could pass for a designer pair of combat boots really. And the combat boot also gives the vibe of like, I'm low maintenance. I'm a very down to earth kind of girl. I don't need to be all frou-frou and you know, wear heels. I'm down with it kind of thing. So I just think it's a very unexpected pairing and I can't wait to photograph it. It's just so me, this outfit. So me, I love it. I really, really love it. All right, I'll see you back here for outfit number three. I wanna know, I wanna know, are you feeling close? 
So my friends, what do you think of outfit number three? Are you getting Western boho vibes? Well, if you are, then I have succeeded in this little look that I have been imagining in my mind for weeks. I am paying homage to my style icon, Stevie Nicks, especially with this dress. Let me take off this blazer for a minute. This dress, my friends, is from H&M and it was a size 16, but I think it still works on me. It's very oversized and drapey, but it cinches in at the waist and that's why I think it works. I love this keyhole slit here, the bell sleeves and the asymmetrical hem just make this dress so Stevie Nicks to me, right? She would have worn something like this for sure. And I just am in love with it. And it was such a bargain. It was like on clearance. I think I got it for $12 a few years ago. And the hat is also H&M. It's from their premium selection and it's a wool hat. And I thought the dress is black. I want to go with the accessories. Everything else I want to be tan. So that's why I went with this tan blazer. This is from H&M also. It's a boyfriend style blazer. And they don't do this anymore, which is such a shame because I think it's one of the nicest blazers they've ever, ever done. And I love it because it's so man style. It's so androgynous. It even has a pocket here for a silk pocket square. Can you believe it? Can you imagine a little silk pocket square there in a maybe just a pop of color? So cute, right? I love the blazer and the bag is my Madewell bucket bag. So I just really love the play on all the tan and the, the black of the dress just pops. My boots, although they're not Western, I wish they were, that would have really, really taken this outfit to the level that I wanted it to. I haven't found my dream pair of Western boots, but these slouchy boots are made in Italy and I thrifted them for 20 bucks, my friends. Absolutely gorgeous. Just a, just a very me outfit. I absolutely love it and I need to photograph this outfit, even though my fellow coasties will think I'm absolutely bonkers for going out dressed like this, but they think that about me anyway. They see me running around with a the camera and they think, there's that weird lady again, you know, photographing herself and filming herself all dressed up. But that's my third outfit, my friends. I will see you for outfit number four. so it takes it you know to an unexpected place and I love that about this outfit this is something I do a lot when I'm wearing a tonal outfit like I have on now I've got this black crop top from Zara this one and the white one best things I ever bought seriously I love them so I'm wearing a black crop top I'm wearing black balloon jeans they're Levi's I love them so much really high-waisted and then I've just tied around my waist a Zara top which has kind of like a, a black stripe through it but it's a cream polo and I just love that detail it breaks up all the black it brings in you know the black to tie in with the outfit but I'm bringing another color into the look I thought I'd go with this cream bum bag which I like sitting just under my my arm like that I think that's a really good position for it maybe even a bit higher maybe I'll just do it a bit higher so yeah it looks really cute just under the arm like that and so it ties in with the cream top and the cream booties which I've had for a while I got these from overseas and I love this look this is also from overseas this leather bum bag I love it it's such a handy little purse and this is something I do a lot you know I have no intention of wearing this top I'm 
just wearing it purely for styling purposes. I love the look it gives the outfit. And so that is outfit number four. I'd wear this if I was, you know, running errands, just running about, doing my thing. It's got, you know, a feminine vibe. It's got a very relaxed vibe and kind of like a tomboy vibe in there too. So we've got all different things playing against each other and I love it. Okay, enough rambling. I'll see you back here for outfit number five. Okay, my friends, this is the final outfit and it's giving me nostalgic vibes because this knit I have had for about eight years. I got it from Cronulla when I first moved there. I just love the punchy color, this poppy red. I mean, how good would this look with a red lipstick? I have a shade in this exact color. So it's a summery knit. It's in a linen cotton fabric. And what I really loved about this knit when I saw it was this lattice detail here on the collar. Bone. I'm not sure you can see it that well, but if I kind of come up close, you can see it's just there and it's so pretty. And I remember I used to wear a strapless bra, so you wouldn't see any bra straps, but I don't feel comfortable in strapless bras anymore. So you're just going to have to see the strap. I don't think it detracts too much from that detail. And also this jacket I bought on the same day as I bought this knit. I haven't worn them for so long and I love this blazer. It's kind of like a tuxedo shape and it has these little white diamonds. It's a slimmer kind of fit, so not oversized, which is what I usually wear, but I kind of like the fit of this. It's long, but it's not oversized. I like the knit kind of poking out from the sleeve, I think. Just a little bit, just a little, a little peek. My denim shorts are 501s, Levi's 501s, of course, and I particularly love this rinse. Just a classic, classic pair of denim shorts. I love them. And what I love to do is wear a blazer with shorts. It's just a look I really love. I just love the silhouette it creates and I think that it just elevates the shorts, but then the shorts also bring down to earth the jacket, makes it look more wearable. And of course I'm wearing my high top Converse, black and white to pick up the black and white in the blazer. And so the bag I went for was my Leona Edmiston bucket bag. I've had this for a couple of years now, but I love the lining. It's black and white polka dot, black and white, well, diamond, little diamonds, it's not a polka dot. Can you pick that up? They're tiny little white diamonds. I really like tying in those two details together. And of course, the black and white bag matches the black and white shoes, the black and white blazer. I don't think anything I'm wearing is thrifted though. There's usually always something that's thrifted in my outfit. Oh yes, yes, the shoes. My high tops are thrifted, but everything else is retail. So my friends, that rounds up the fifth outfit. I really hope you like this outfit and all the other ones. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank Loloris for sponsoring a portion of the video. And I really hope I see you guys in my next one.